This video is just going to be a quick overview of the whole manager feature and automatic feature recognition inside of KibsCam. This is a pretty in-depth topic. Uh, there's a lot of features, but I just want to give an overview. I'll come back later on and follow up with a few videos on manipulating the data once we have it. Um, really what the hole manager does is it automatically detects all the holes that need to be drilled, countersunk, tapped, things like that inside of a model. Uh, instead of going through this and having to create all of the coordinate systems myself and define all the holes myself, especially on a model like this where there's there's a few different holes on a few different levels. You know, you can see there's ones that are on radii, things like that. Um, hole manager will do this for me, I'll show you here. If we go up to features and then hole manager, we get this pop-up window here. This is the hole manager. I'm gonna go ahead and open up my tools and my, and my uh, machining palette. You can see that there's no holes to find, there's no tool paths or tools or anything. So let me move this model over so we can see it a little bit better. There we go. All right, so right here, there's no holes, no groups, no anything. The first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run AFR. That stands for Automatic Feature Recognition. Let me go ahead and pick this solid first. There we go. So now it's analyzing the model and it picks out all of the holes that it can find. We can see here that each hole has a point and a line. Some lines end just with nothing at the end, but a point, and some with a little line at the bottom. The ones with the lines at the bottom are blind holes. The ones that do not have the little line at the bottom, those are through holes. So it's actually smart enough to know the difference between those two. If we look at this model, we can actually see that there are um, a few different colors. So if we go ahead and pull up this little um, this little graphic from the help menu. There we go. So we can see that the colors um, coordinate with what each hole is. You know, drill, tap, ream, bore, bore through, back bore, all that other stuff. And here's the exist or the uh, corresponding colors with that. So just by looking at this model, we can see that we have some blind holes, some through holes. Um, we have, you know, a compound hole and, you know, a whole bunch of uh, through bores or something like that. So, all right, so let's go ahead and take a look at this. So what's my next step? So I have these holes, great. So now what do I do with them? So what I wanna do is I wanna group these together. For instance, I know that these four are all the same. They're going to be drilled with the same drill, countersunk, all that other stuff, the same end condition, things like that. I know that both of these holes here, you can see as I click on these two, it highlights it over here so we know which holes are going on. So right here, this is this lock selection. If I have that clicked off, you can see that these move independently. If I hit lock selection, as I click these, you can see that it highlights over here and vice versa, so we can go over here. So anyway, back to grouping. So I wanna group this stuff. I can go through and hold down the control key and group a bunch together, but we have this thing here called auto group. So let's go ahead up here. I'm just gonna go ahead and hit auto group. What that does is that automatically groups the holes, the similar holes together. Now there's settings for this to tell Gibbscam what makes holes similar. Um, we'll get to that in another, in another um, video. But just for now, let's just go ahead and say that they use the similar holes and they group them together. For instance, group two, if we click on this, we can see that it it's uh, grouped all of these eight holes. Come down here to group three, it's grouped all of those holes. So it's gonna go ahead and it's gonna machine those together. Now, when I say machine those together, you can see that there's no coordinate systems, there's no tools, there's nothing like that. That's where this all comes in. Okay, so we have auto whiz, hole whiz, and drill process. AutoWiz is what I'm going to do right here. It's going to go ahead and create um, coordinate systems and tool paths for each one of those points and each one of those holes. Hole Wizard will let me create just the, um, the processes for a single group. And then drill process will just be like um, doing it on your own. You pick a drill, you pick a tool, you pick a process, all that other stuff. But I'm going to show you AutoWiz here. It's going through and creating tool paths 
for each one of those groups. Now, not only is it creating tool paths for those, it's also creating coordinate systems for those. You can see here it's created four new coordinate systems. So let's say, for instance, you just wanted to find a fast way to create coordinate systems for these holes. This is a great way to do it. Even if you don't use a tool path, it's a really fast way to create coordinate systems. Um, once you have the tool path, let's go ahead and run rendering. Slow it down just a little bit. There we go. So we can see it goes ahead and it drills through all that. The clearances are a little bit off, things like that. All right, so one thing to note is if we look over here, see these long holes that go through? They don't go all the way through the block. So I'm just going to quickly talk. There's tons of ways to manipulate the tool paths and the results of the automatic feature recognition and AutoWiz, but I'm just quickly going to show some of those right now. So, you know, we can come here and let's go ahead and right click on this and we can change the orientation of that hole I'm sorry let's get out of this so we can see what I'm doing so I'm gonna go ahead and pick that long hole these compound holes here so we can do a whole bunch of stuff one of which is we can edit the length of it so if I hit edit now this is the whole profile uh, this dictates what a geometry is used to define that drilling cycle so we can say top diameter bottom diameter you can see it's just under three quarters here's the length of the bottom here's the overall length let's call that I don't know we'll say seven inches show so now we can see that it goes ahead and goes past so that's one way to manipulate the holes so what I showed here really quick was running automatic feature recognition and then running AutoWiz to create hole definitions, points, lines, and tool paths and tools. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and follow up with a bunch of other videos going into this a little bit more in depth as far as you know, creating from geometry, um, how to dictate what tools are used, things like that. In the meantime, if you have any questions about hole manager and any of these automatic feature recognition settings, please give your local reseller a call or give a call to Gibbs Camp Tech Support. Thank you.